Yeah, I'm only joking. I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing them videos where they type. That's just fucking ridiculous. I'd never do that. It's just pointless and shit. But, um, yeah, I'll try and make this quick. Because last time, it, the video was like 20 minutes long. And I ran out of space on one of my hard drives. So, right. You want in uh, Wii, PS2, and SNES emulators. Right, I've, um, I actually do need Notepad open. Um, because I'm going to just copy and paste this. That's my description. It's, I'm going to upload this to YouTube for you uh, to have a good look at. That this is going to be in this description, all the links. Um, but these links are just going to help me out now. Basically, all the emulators uh, that you're going to need are going to be here. Emulator zone. Um, for Wii, it's Dolphin. That one. Click that, download that. Um, for PS2, it's PSX, it's Juvis X, 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 2 that one. And for SNES, it is SNES 9X, that one. Download those, um, and then uh, put them wherever you wish. Okay, then, where is it? Where's it gone? There we go. Uh, for your SNES ROMs, I've put a direct link to the full ROM set. Because SNES games are so small, there's no point downloading one at a time. That link will bring you to this. 777 SNES ROMs. Uh, you just click that download button and it'll download it as a, I think it's like a 7 zip file or something. Unzip it and then they're all there. I'd suggest putting all of your ROMs into a ROM and then subcategorize that folder into PS2, Wii and SNES. Um, yeah, that's that one. That's your SNES games, your Wii, Wii ROMs. There's loads of different. You can just type this into Google uh, to get your Wii ROMs. But um, there is a, a website that that gives you the genuine Wii ISO files. That's like you've just put the disc in. Um, I've forgotten what it is, but this is just a similar thing. You can type it in a, a game up there to search for it. Um, download whatever game you want. And then run it in uh, in the, the relevant emulator. Uh, sometimes with the emulators, it asks, it doesn't. Sorry, it doesn't provide you with um, the relevant um, uh, BIOS file, um, like for the Mega Drive emulator Fusion. It doesn't come with a BIOS file. I think so. They can't blame each other, uh, so they're not doing anything wrong. You can't run the game without the BIOS. But most of the emulators now come with the BIOS file. But if it doesn't, you can just type in BIOS for blah 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 emulator into Google and one website will come up with the BIOS that you need. Um, that one that I've just shown you is just for the Mega Drive emulator, so it's not really relevant. Okay, uh, so yeah, where were we? I'm losing track. Yeah, okay, so these are your Wii ROMs. Press on what you want, download it. Um, PS2 ROMs. Probably know most of this anyway, mate. I know you're a smart guy. Um, direct straight to the PS2 ROMs, always. You can probably search here as well, somewhere. There's probably a search ROMs there. Look. Uh, so, yeah, download what you want from there. Put all your ROMs in the folder that you want. Um, and then, once you've done that, this is a link to Play Night. This is your, your game organizer, if you like, your game manager. Uh, download installer I'm pretty sure it's just free uh, if I I might have paid for the pro version but it was only a couple of quid I think but it was, it was a couple of years back now uh, but it's one of the best game organizers there is um, download installer uh, run playnight.exe install it um, and then it'll come up like this It won't look exactly like that, but it'll be blank. Um, first thing you're going to do is press on this, add a game. It probably will scan your computer automatically, straight away, anyway. And it'll most likely add all of your Steam games and all the games you've already got, all your PC games. Um, I won't worry too much about that cluttering up your 
the, the profile up because you can select what's available and what isn't. So if you still want to use, I presume you're going to want to use Steam still for all your Steam games because it's not a bad uh, game manager. Um, you can just untick PC games and it won't show them and you, then you can just use this just for your emulated games. So anyway, I'll stop babbling. <coughs> uh, add game. Uh, if you go scan automatically, you can scan a folder. So I press on that. Basically, uh, mine is in this folder, my SNES, SNES, emulator, SNES games, SNES ROM collection, and then I'd press select folder. I know it says that there's no items matched, blah, 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 but they are all in there. Um, press select folder, um, and then it hasn't done it. Why, why, why hasn't that done it? Let me go browse. Ah, uh, is it because... Oh, I just found Did you hear that? Alright. Let me just try this again. Alright. Add a game. Scan automatically. I wonder... No, it's not that way. Manually. Nope. Emulated game, that's why. Scan folder using emulator. See, I've already got mine loaded in, so that's not the first process you need to do. So you can tell that I'm reversed this very much. <laughs> Alright, go on to configure emulators. This should be, shouldn't be anything in there. Go on, add. New emulator, blah, blah blah. Profile, add. Um, call it what you want. Ah, oh, that's it. Yeah, call it your PS2 emulator or something. Supported platforms. Um, after you've scanned things, it'll come up with what game availability you've got. No, that's not right. Right, yeah, ignore that, just what I said then, because I, I'm, I'm shit at it. Configure emulators. Import emulators. No. Auto detect from folder. Then it's a case of going to where your emulator is. So, wherever you downloaded your emulator and unzipped it to. For me, it is here. SNES emulator folder. Um, it doesn't show the exe file there, but it is there. If you go and select folder, there it is, SNES 9x, and you press import, and you do that with all three emulators. And then, that's when you can go add game, emulated game, scan folder using emulator. It should show three up there, it should show um, Dolphin and PCS X2 and SNES 9X. And then all you need to do is press on that, that, SNES games, wrong collection, select folder, there they all are, press import and they'll all get imported. Um, and if the game, when you double click it, you might not be able to control it straight away with your control pad. You'll have to, whichever emulator it is, going to obviously go into your config settings, go into your control pad, plugin settings, and just basically make it so it works with your pad. You know, uh, but I'm pretty sure you'd be aware of that anyway. Um, other than that, mate, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, if you press F11, it'll bring up in Play Night. It'll bring up the TV style of the website of the website of the website what the fuck am I about? of play night so you can control it with your with your gamepad um, so yeah mate uh, please uh, please leave a like and a subscribe and uh, and I'll uh, I'll see you next time all the all the all the things are in a 
or in the description. I'm not joking, I'm not a serious YouTuber. Anyway, bye then. Bye. Bye then, it's not stopping. <laughs> it's not stopping. Why will it stop? Why will it stop? God. <laughs> Still recording. Oh yeah, bye, bye then, bye.